Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Metro under the main headline of Russian State TV editor released after telling viewers. They're lying to you. Summary of headline article. To view this video please enable JavaScript. And consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video A brave Russian state TV editor who stormed a broadcast to protest against the Ukraine war has reportedly been released. Marina Ofsyanikova risked the Kremlin's wrath when she held up a sign behind a presenter which read No war. Stop the war. They are lying to you here. Today. A Russian court reportedly fined her $280. £213. After finding her guilty of flouting protest legislation. Ms. Ofsyanikova could be heard saying, No war. Stop the war, on Russian Channel 1. Before the program cut to a pre-recorded report on Monday. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. Fox News cameraman and journalist killed in attack near Kyiv. Summary of headline article. A cameraman at the U.S. network Fox News has been killed by an artillery shelling by Russian troops. While reporting on the war in Ukraine. Pierre Zakazuski was working with correspondent Benjamin Hall when their vehicle was hit in the northeastern part of the village of Gorenka, near Kyiv. Fox News announced the attack and Mr. Hall's injury on Monday by saying the reporter was injured while news gathering outside of Kyiv in Ukraine. It comes days after U.S. filmmaker Brent Reno was killed in Ukraine after Russian forces opened fire on his vehicle. The 50-year-old from Arkansas was gathering material for a report about refugees when his vehicle was hit at a checkpoint in a pin. Just outside Kyiv. From Metro under the main headline of fire breaks out at Pinewood Studios during Snow White filming. Summary of headline article. The fire broke out during the filming of Snow White. Picture. Splash news. A fire has erupted at the Richard Attenborough stage at Pinewood Studios. Six fire engines were reportedly scrambled to the famous movie studio in Berkshire after witnesses heard explosions. The blaze is believed to have broken out during the filming of Snow White. It's not yet known if any actors were filming scenes when the fire broke out. But Zegler was in London for last night's BAFTA Film Awards. There have been several fires at Pinewood over the years. With the set burning down during the filming of Ridley Scott's Legend in 1984. From The Guardian under the main headline of Ukraine-Russia War Latest. Hundreds of Ukrainians held hostage in Mariupol Hospital. Say officials. Russian TV protester find a euro, live. Summary of headline article. 1730 Russians will be banned from importing many designer clothes. Jewelry. Handbags and racing horses from Europe. Under the latest round of EU sanctions. Jennifer Rankin reports. The EU is banning the export of most luxury goods to Russia. Including precious stones. Watches. Horses. Caviar and fur. EU officials said the ban on luxury goods was designed to target wealthy. Well-connected Russians. Rather than ordinary citizens. The steel import ban will only take effect after three months to allow existing contracts to be. Concluded. Whereas the luxury goods ban comes into force almost immediately. EU officials said the decision to ban new ratings of Russia and Russian companies was important. Because it would freeze existing junk status in global markets. From iNews under the main headline of Mother of Murdered Toddler Star Hobson has sentence increased. To 12 years. Summary of headline article. The Mother of Murdered Toddler Star Hobson 
who received an eight-year term for causing or allowing her daughter's death, has had her sentence increased to 12 years. Frankie Smith, 20, was jailed in December last year for her role in the death of her 16-month-old daughter, who was killed by Smith's former partner, Savannah Brockhill. The freshest exclusives and sharpest analysis curated for your inbox email address is invalid. Thank you for subscribing. Following her conviction, Smith's sentence was referred to the Court of Appeal by the Attorney General's Office under the unduly lenient sentencing scheme. Frankie Smith, 20, was convicted of causing or allowing the death of her 16-month-old daughter. Star Hobson. Photo. West Yorkshire Police. P.A. Wire. Three senior judges at London's Court of Appeal increased her sentence to 12 years detention on Tuesday morning. From The Guardian under the main headline of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has had UK passport returned. Says MP. Summary of headline article. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe. The British Iranian national held in Iran has had her British passport returned. Her MP, Tulip Siddiq, has said. The Hampstead and Kilburn MP tweeted. I am very pleased to say that Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has been given her British passport back. There was no independent confirmation of the payment from the families of the two detainees. Or from the UK Foreign Office. The British Foreign Office has refused to describe her as a state hostage. A decision that has infuriated Zaghari Ratcliffe's family and her legal advisers. Redress. The Iranian Foreign Minister was in Moscow on Tuesday to discuss the Russian intervention and whether it could mean the near-complete nuclear deal could be signed off. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. More than 100,000 Britons register interest in housing Ukrainian refugees. Summary of headline article. More than 100,000 Britons have offered up their homes to Ukrainian refugees. Boris Johnson has said. A website where people can register their interest in providing a home for at least six months to. Ukrainians fleeing the war with Russia was only launched at 4 p.m. yesterday. Cabinet Minister Michael Gove announced the Homes for Ukraine scheme was open on Monday and said, There will be no limit to the number of Ukrainian refugees who can come to the UK. Any Ukrainian national or immediate family member of a Ukrainian national, if they were resident in Ukraine prior to 1 January this year, is eligible for the scheme. As an immediate step. Those wishing to make such an offer are being asked to register their interest on the new Homes for Ukraine website. From Huff Post under the main headline of UK sanctions hundreds more Russians but Volodymyr. Zelensky says West must do more. Summary of headline article. UK Parliament. Jessica Taylor via PA Media Britain has slapped hundreds more Russians with sanctions. As Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged the West to do more to stop the Russian invasion of his country, the Foreign Office announced on Tuesday that 370 Russian people and entities had been added to the sanctions list. Advertisement import tariffs on Russian products including vodka will also be increased in a further attempt to cripple the country's economy. Advertisement in a video call with Boris Johnson and other Western leaders. Zelensky welcomed Western sanctions. We have to acknowledge Russia is a rogue state and there has to be a trade embargo with Russia. He said. From the sun under the main headline of Boris calls Putin a drugs pusher, feeding the West's addiction to cheap gas. Summary of headline article. Boris Johnson today compared Vladimir Putin to a drug dealer who has got the West hooked on his supply of oil and gas. He said, 
Vladimir Putin over the last yeast has been like a pusher, feeding an addiction in Western countries to his hydrocarbons. He added, We need to make sure that we build the strongest, widest possible coalition to ensure that Vladimir Putin does not succeed. Mr. Johnson will urge desert rulers to increase crude production to drive down the global price. Meanwhile Mr. Johnson will this week hold his nose over human rights abuses and beg Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to increase production in their backyards. From BBC under the main headline of COVID in Scotland. Mask rules will stay in force until April. Summary of headline article. Ms. Sturgeon said the BA.2 sub-variant of Omicron was now the dominant strain of the virus in Scotland, accounting for more than 80% of cases, adding that while it spreads much more quickly, there is no evidence it causes more severe illness than previous variants. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.